One of the puzzles about U.S. jobs numbers has been why low unemployment isn't pulling more people into the workforce from the sidelines. Why the participation is not returning to prior levels, and this is the rate going back to 1950 for prime age males, you can see, and how it's come down. There are bumps up and down, but it's really come down overall. It's a complicated question, and Princeton's Alan Kruger has studied it carefully over the years. Alan is still with us, and joining us now is Michael McKee, Bloomberg's international economics and policy correspondent. As I say, Alan, you really are a student of this. What's causing this? Well, it, the trend's been going on for quite some time for men. And I think there are a number of factors. Uh, partly, it's shifts in demand for workers with different skills, which have uh, had an adverse effect on men. Uh, but the problem has now run into the opioid crisis. And what I found in my work is that nearly half of the men, prime age men, who are out of the labor force are taking pain medication any given day. And uh, two thirds of that group are taking prescription medication. So we have an uh, opioid crisis in this country with uh, over 30,000 people a year dying from overdoses. And I think it's making it much more difficult for men who are out of the labor force to get back into the labor force to pass drug tests. And it's even causing some people to leave the labor force because they become addicted uh, to pain medication um, and uh, they lose their job or they lose motivation.